Thank you so much, Karma, for sponsoring today's video. Growing up, I didn't care about fashion. I didn't care about my sense of style. I just literally did not give a sh I knew I didn't like clothes that were very tight on me because I couldn't breathe. Even when I was on Tumblr as a kid, I would like look at the images of the girls and I would be like, pretty cute. But like, I never took any fashion advice from that. Like, it's like I couldn't process what they were actually wearing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And then all throughout high school, I had uniforms. Not because I went to like some fancy preppy Catholic school. No, my school just decided to give us uniforms that year. For all four years of high school, I looked like I worked at Best Buy, which is fine, but I didn't get a Best Buy discount. So it, it just kind of sucked. And then I remember getting into college and realizing, oh my God, everyone in college dresses kind of really cool. And I really like how the art kids dress. They're just really cool. I remember my freshman year roommate trying to dress me in her clothes. She was like, you look like shit. I'm like, okay. And I just didn't feel like myself. So I just had no sense of personal style whatsoever. Sophomore year of college, um, I remember thinking maybe my fashion sense is getting a little bit better. Like maybe I'm kind of coming into myself because I got four years of my teenage years stripped away from having any fashion sense whatsoever. I, I look like a Best Buy uniform during the day and a Chipotle worker at night because I was one. And then I remember the one day, my sophomore year of college, a girl told me that I dress like a normie and it really hurt me. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with dressing like a normie, but I was like, what? Me, a normie? Something needs to change. I would thrift in high school, but I started heavily thrifting a few years ago, especially in the men's section. If my style is influenced by anyone really, it's mainly by men and like rock stars. And I recently realized that most of the music that I listen to is by men, no more men. I don't really shop by trends. I'm a very proud outfit repeater. Fall and winter are my favorite seasons for fashion. And I don't really shop for clothes often. And when I do, it's usually thrifted, but when it's not thrifted and I do wanna buy online, I do use something special, we'll get into that. And I realized I've never made a fashion video. And some of you guys have commented that you guys like my little sense of style, which is very kind. You guys gave me your theme suggestions. This video is very inspired by Jazzy Lee, Katie U, as well as Alexa Sunshine, 83. I asked you all on my Instagram to give me some ideas for outfit themes. Very, very specific niche themes that you would not necessarily maybe think of right away, but what I would wear to these events. These are all real outfits that I would wear, and I think they're fun and spunky and me. That's the best way to describe it. I'll link as much stuff as I can down below, but like I said, majority of it is probably gonna be thrifted. Like I mentioned, this video is sponsored by Karma. I usually shop thrifted clothes. However, sometimes when I do wanna buy something online, I like to use Karma to get the best deal possible. If you didn't know, Karma is an app as well as a Chrome extension, so it ensures that you'll never miss a price drop or a coupon code. For example, I've been eyeing these green Converse for a long time, but I was waiting for that price drop and Karma let me know as soon as it happened so that I could get them for a cheaper price. Because we all know, I don't like paying full price for literally anything. <laughs> it's cool because with Karma, you can basically go to any of your favorite stores online and just take a look around. All you have to do is hit a button when you see an item that you'd like to save. And you can get notifications via email or mobile push when an item that you save goes on sale, has a relevant coupon, or comes back in stock. And like the Virgo that I am, I like to make lists. So you can basically plan your shopping by organizing items into multiple wish lists. Karma scans the web for coupon codes and applies them at checkout automatically. But this is a special feature if you use Karma on your computer. So the Chrome extension is an absolute must. And you can also earn Karma cash when you shop from select retail partners. You can get Karma's free Chrome extension if you use my link. You can also find it in the description box. Karma is an all-in-one shopping assistant that automatically helps you shop smarter and save time and money automatically. We like that. <laughs> Make sure you check out the link in my description and thank you Karma for sponsoring today's video. Okay guys, let me show you my outfits and turn my fan back on cause I'm hot. Look at my knees, they're in pain. Oh no. Outfit you'd wear to not get let into an after party. Laugh it up, laugh it, laugh it up. Come on, let's go. You heard me? I heard you. Laugh, come on. Uh, yeah, this is the outfit I would wear uh, if I was rejected from a, an after party, specifically <clears throat> the Strokes in New York City. <clears throat> <clears throat> Where Tom Mulaney was at, <coughs> and AOC. <coughs> Julie has a blanket. It might look familiar to some of you. Uh, maybe produce bra, which is a bathing suit top. My mom's leather jacket that I ruined with a sticker. Don't look at my boobs. Don't. I know, boobalicious, but come on. 10 out of 10 would wear again. My funeral. This is what I want to wear to my funeral. Let's say I died right here, right now, at the ripe age of 21. I spent 21 years filled with anxiety, suffering, pain. When you lay me down to rest, do not put me in something uncomfortable. I want when people come up to my casket and see me, they're like, 
that's Nikki Nasty, that's her, yep, that's her uniform, that's what she wore every single day of summer 2021. It may be a basic outfit, but do I love it? Yes. The dad shoes, the perfect dad shoes, they're comfortable, they're cute in my humble little opinion. I've elevated from Fila's to this. Will I look back and hate them in a few years? Perhaps. Since I'm now 21 and in the entertainment world and YouTube world of things, 21 is now geriatric. And, and 22, which I'm turning in a few months, is absolute your corpse at that point. So maybe, I don't know. Lay me to rest and comfort. Lay me to rest looking like every single geriatric father that there is. Also, look how tan my legs look. You want to know why they look tan? Because I got second degree burns. I did my best. I used SPF 50. I, I don't know what happened. Lifting and intimidating all the men in the gym. This is what I would wear when I want to stunt on your boyfriend at the gym and lift heavier than him. This is my absolute favorite little gym outfit that I have. Leggings are always comfy. When I wear this at the gym, I am reminded that I am the shit. I'm also always, without fail, wearing these stupid little white socks. <laughs> I mean, they're not stupid, but like they're just so cute with every single outfit. And I'm a big fan of just high socks, especially with leggings. I think it just elevates a look. And the gym is not all about fashion or looking cute or whatever. I used to just wear whatever I had. Once I actually started like caring a little bit about my gym outfits, I wanted to work harder because I would catch a little peek at myself in the mirror and I would be like, hi, who are you? I'm in love with you. And then that would make me want to work harder to impress myself. It's also really nice because at my new gym, it's just all old people and I fit right into the geriatrics club because I'm soon to be there. And although I may not be able to lift as heavy as I used to because I took off a long time from the gym, I can still lift heavier than your boyfriend. Goodbye. What I'd wear to my high school reunion. Absolutely nothing. Want to know why? Because I'm not going. My cat's birthday party. Clementine. Say hi, don't be rude. The key is, for a cat's birthday party, it's only appropriate to wear all black so that the cat's fur shows up on your clothes. Cat bag. Okay. Clammy is actually turning one in like, like a week. Clammy, soon it's gonna be the one year anniversary that someone dumped you in a barn. I know, how could someone do that? But it's okay because I saved you. Unfortunately, this hot little number will have to wait. I literally look like the girl from The Breakfast Club before her tragic makeover. I don't want to talk about it. Like, it wasn't tragic, but the fact that they made her do that, anyway. She was cool being the alt girl that she was. Clemmy's B-Day party will unfortunately have to be postponed because I will be out of town doing something unexpected and crazy that you guys will find out about soon. It's very off-brand and out of character for me. It's not something I would have ever planned nor expected but I'm very happy that I'm doing. <laughs> and when you guys do find out about it, you guys are gonna be like, what? I'll be gone for a little while. You'll find out about it soon. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'll fill you in, I'll fill you in. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Hottest person in Trader Joe's. This is how I look once every few weeks to months when I decide to make the big trek to Trader Joe's to get Thai tea mochi. I don't live near a Trader Joe's. Like I actually live quite far from one. However, when I do decide to go out, I go all out. Like I'm doing a full on shopping spray, like I bring a cooler and everything because it will melt on the way home. And by it, I mean like the three boxes of Tai Chi Mochi that I am buying. Usually I don't give any free toes on this platform, but for this instance, someone named Jebediah would usually wear these shoes, but I wear these shoes and I make them really cute, okay? Terry cloth sports bra to make it a little bit scandalous, just a little bit, and tote bag because you can't go into a Trader Joe's without wearing a tote bag, okay? This is an everything but the bagel seasoning hate account, okay? What you would wear to hide from paparazzi. Now, never in my life will I experience the perils of being seen by paparazzi. However, if I am gonna be seen by paparazzi ever in my life, I must be prepared. This is giving me a lot of Dwayne The Rock Johnson fanny pack vibes, but it's like, upscale just a little bit. I don't know. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of black and denim. I don't know. I just feel like it looks very good on me. I'm a pale lady. So there are just some colors that I just am not that big of a fan of. And I'm not like, I love black so much. I don't know. I feel like it almost makes my facial features stand out. So I like wearing black. I'm your RA knocking on your door at night. RA Nicole, open up. I smell marijuana in here. Let me in. I'm really just kidding because I was a really terrible RA. Terrible in the sense that like I didn't do my job as well as I should have. <laughs> the free housing was really nice. <laughs> also, these soothies, they're freaking ugly, but they are so comfy. I'm happy that my RA days are done. Okay. Going to Barnes and Nobles alone just to be mysterious. Oh, don't mind me just strolling into Barnes and Nobles to 
look at the young adult book section. Uh, don't mind me, just maybe perusing and maybe gonna get like a chai latte at the Starbucks inside, even though they don't take Starbucks gift cards because they are a Barnes and Nobles cafe, not a Starbucks cafe. Don't mind me, just reading some soft core smut. I'm so mysterious because I read. Uh... Don't mind me, just looking at all the physical books here, looking to find my soulmate, even though. I read on my Kindle. If you guys follow me on any other social media platform, you know how heavy I've gotten into reading, especially on my little stupid Kindle, because that's how I pass the time now, reading softcore smut. All right, David Bowie. All the Barnes and Nobles hoes love Dave Bowie. It's because they watch Perks of Being Wallflower one too many times, all right? Hot mom going to kids' soccer game. This is giving me wannabe Princess Diana vibes, as well as soccer mom who doesn't know if she wants kids even though she's already a mother of two. This is also a staple outfit for me. Like this is interchangeable with my funeral outfit. Very comfortable, I love biker shorts. I love the way that my legs look in them. So I only own two pairs, but it doesn't matter. I just rotate. <laughs> I don't know why I don't know more, I don't know. I also really like the color red on me. It just brings out my features. I like the colors red, black, and white on me. Go temple. And the cherry and the white. Someone look at my legs. Ooh, they cracked. This is the closest to feeling like a mother I will ever get. Like, yes, I have a cat, but that feel, it's different. It's different, it's so different. What I'd wear on a date with your dad. This is the outfit I would wear to go on a date with someone's father. A little commotion for the dress. Thank you. Booties thrifted, lost the bottom of them. <laughs> I've never been on a date with someone's father and I don't plan on it anytime soon. But it's good to know that all of the outfits that I've included in today's video could be worn as a date with someone's father because they're all great. However, it'll absolutely never happen because not only do I fear men, but I fear fathers, so. To object at a wedding. Excuse me, I object. <laughs> this is the best outfit I've ever worn in my entire life. Like, I've never worn it like this. Look how powerful. I didn't know I was built like this. What? Who let me be built like this? Who built me like this? Who did that? Me? No, that couldn't be me. What? What? No. No, I'm not the... That's not me. It makes me feel like a Ryan Carlotto. I feel like I need to go sue someone. Not that Ryan Carlotto sues people, I just feel like this is an outfit to do some suing in. Your Honor, I'd like to sue myself for being too sexy. First date with Julian Casablancas. Hi, Julian. No, 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 no. Hi, Julian. No, 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 wait, hold on. Actually, I would just cancel because my IBS would be too bad from being nervous, so. Outfits to go get a colonoscopy slash pap smear in. Honestly, a dress or a skirt is your best bet. Anything with an opening, you know what I mean? Because then you don't have to change into ugly gowns. You can be fashionable while, you know, getting a pap smear or a colonoscopy. Or maybe you're like me and you have to get an endoscopy and a colonoscopy at the same time. It's like getting Eiffel Towered by your gastroenterologist. Cute. This outfit screams, I drink oat milk matcha and thrift all my clothes. These two cups are from the matcha I drank today. A matcha lemonade and an oat milk matcha latte. Do I have a god complex? Yes. Do I think I'm better than everyone because I drink matcha? Yes. I can't have coffee. Bad things will happen to my insides and this makes me feel good and it makes me feel good mentally. God complex, right? Very flowy and it makes me feel like my mom in the 90s. My mom's like, you probably look like shit. That's okay, mommy. Be nice to me. I'm sensitive. This is what my room looks like. All right. <laughs> Hi guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave it a like because it helps me out so much. Also, leave a comment which one is your favorite outfit. I like doing this because I've never done a fashion video before. How many times can you say that in a video, Nicole? It was very fun and I discovered some outfits that I probably would have never tried to wear before because I didn't think that I could pull them off. And I realized that I could and I would wear every single one of these outfits, honestly. I hope that you kind of got a better sense of what my style is. I, I, don't, I don't put a label to it at all because Indie bitch, that's the best way to put it, indie bitch, whatever. <sighs> My tummy does hurt, it's really painful to be a fashionable woman. Make sure you subscribe if you want to be nasty, if not, you're disgusting. Also, make sure you have your bell notifications on so you know every single time I post or else you are gross. If you want to follow me on my other social media, like Instagram, Twitter, Depop, Spotify, it's just at Nicole Raffi. And if you want to follow me on my TikTok, it's at Nikki Nasty. Thank you so much, Karma, for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna go now. I have to drink a third matcha latte of the day because if not, then this outfit is gonna go to waste, right? All right, goodbye. <laughs>